Since the previous failed attempts, many Cardinal Tetris have died, leaving only these two in my community tank. They are both experienced and resilient female fish that have survived my various attempts, and they are still in good condition. Although there are still many adult cardinal tetras in this tank, they are most likely the offspring of those two old mother fish. And I do not want to practice too much close breeding. So I went ahead and purchased 10 mature new fish online. The seller claimed they were the largest size available. but they still seem small to me. I feel like it will take some time for them to breed. Let's quarantine them for a few days first. but I don't think they'll have any issues. They showed great condition after just two days in the tank. A week later, I put them together with the other fish. How many of them are male, and how many are female? Two weeks later, one night I caught them, and put them in a clear container. I found that they all seemed to be female. This is awkward, so I had to go back to this tank to pick out the male fish again. However, it took me a long time to select these five males. I put these male fish in the previous quarantine tank, preparing to start the first round of breeding. It has been more than 20 days since I bought the fish. And they have been fed well. It's time for breeding. I need to select 5 of the fattest females in the tank. I am preparing water for breeding. This water is from a local stream, and does not contain chlorine, so it can be used for breeding immediately. I have used this water for breeding green neon tetras several times, and have not encountered any problems.
The fish were transferred to the breeding tank at night. I also caught the two old female fish. The setup of the breeding tank is not much different from before. But recently I have added some water lilies on the surface of the water. I also covered the top of the tank with a net to prevent the fish from jumping out. Within an hour, they started to adapt to the environment in the tank. It was evident that the water was fine. As they did not appear nervous or lethargic. In contrast to the water that was not entirely dechlorinated previously. But when I checked on them, the next morning, I found that they had not spawned yet but I expected that they wouldn't spawn so quickly. Although they seemed a bit nervous, their behavior was still normal. On the third morning, there was still no sign of spawning, and I started to feel impatient. Although I had kept them in the breeding tank for over a week before, and induced spawning by water changes. I didn't want to keep them there for so long again, as it would not be good for their health. On the third night, I turned on the security camera light. The light wasn't very strong, so I thought it could create a dim and quiet environment for them. After less than an hour, I noticed that they began to have the desire to breed. They boldly swam near the water surface, whereas normally they would only swim in the middle or lower levels of the water. I wanted to capture a close-up footage of their spawning as closely as possible. But I was afraid of disturbing them.
I went to collect the eggs on the next day, at noon and found that there weren't many eggs. And most of them had already turned white. It was probably because the male fish had little experience in spawning. I only managed to collect 5 good ones. And only 4 of them hatched successfully. However, it was still a rare successful breeding experience for me. And I believe that future breeding will be smoother with this success.